Oh, back at it. My daughter's school function went swimmingly. It really went well. And so now we're just gonna get back in them smallies. But first, I'm just gonna take a real quick peek up here to see if there's any, any mushrooms popping through, you know what I'm saying? Oh yes, we are at a different location uh, than we were earlier in the day. We are at just a different, different section, a little farther upstream than we were before. You good, you good, you good, you good, 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 good. I probably should retie, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna make a cast right out of here. That was terrible. I hit something behind me. Let's go down here a little bit. I've been here before, and I remember. I remember it being real deep over here. I should have tied a new leader on, man. It's getting pretty short. I went ahead and retied my jig too because it was getting pretty pretty scuffed up. Okay, I decided to stop and tie on a completely new leader. I think it was like maybe three feet long. And I'm not really fishing much more than that. Maybe probably the deepest is six, but the sun's been kind of shining in and out. And I'm afraid they might be getting line shy. So that's why I just, I just decided to just go ahead and just clip it and just tie on a new one. And I usually like to do just two arm, like two arm spans, I guess you could say. Like both my arms across my chest, I do two of those and a little extra just to give me some some spare for when I'm tying knots and stuff. So that's just what I like to do. No real rhyme or reason other than I just, I like the fact that it gives me the opportunity to have a little more for, like I said, tying knots and stuff for when you're clipping your tag ends and stuff. I don't know, this looks pretty gross. I mean, it's clear, but it just has a brown tinge to it. And you know that smallies like clean water. I mean, this is probably, I mean, it's definitely clean enough, but it just looks, it doesn't look as quality as it was at the, where I was earlier today. Oh, I just saw a flash though. So I think we might be okay. Oh yeah, there's something's down there. I brought my sunglasses this time. Of course the sun went away. You know, I remember this being a lot deeper than what it is right now. Dude, it is, it's not too bad over there. And there's a little ledge drop off too, I can see it. There might be some little guys held up on there. I'm down to catch little guys. Big, small, whatever, I'll catch it all, man. Oh man, rock tree, snag, whatever. I'll catch it. You know, that's how I roll. I just scared some big ones away, boys. Yes, I did. I saw them. Took right off. I'm going to try this swim bait a little bit. I just saw a couple of them. There was a pair of them. They just took off together. There we go. Just, you know, you know what I'm doing? I'm putting on a crankbait. That's what I'm doing. This thing is, they're not showing any interest in it at all. There we go. See if we can do anything with this. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit this area up a little bit more before I leave it. That's a, that's a fish, that's a fish. Got a fish on it. He spit it, he spit it. Let's get it back out there. All right, last cast right here with the square bill. I'm gonna get out the Ned rig again. Hit him with something new. They're too used to it at this point. Too used to me splashing it around. Okay, I've got 8% left on this battery. I've got a smallie on. Wow, I just turned it on. Oh man, it's the Ned Rig, dude. It's the way to go. It's just the way to go, man. Oh man, they fight like a freaking freight train. They're freaking crazy. They're nuts. These things are nuts. Look at that. Look at that. Go get bigger. <laughs> oh god, that's first cast. As soon as I put that Ned rig on, man, they smoked it. I'm in the same spot I was with that uh, square bill too, so just goes to show you sometimes you just gotta throw something different in their face. That was a fish. That's a fish. Oh, that's a little spot. That was a spot. That was a spot. Oh my gosh, dude. They are smoking it. They are smoking this thing. Why did I even switch? Why did I even switch? Oh man, right over there in the juice. And that is the juice over there. There's rocks galore. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this area apart a little bit more before I let it go. Oh my gosh. That's gotta be a fish. Nope. They've gotten wise to my antics. Gotta go somewhere else. I'm gonna move on upstream. upstream. Okay, so a bit of an ex <laughs> a bit of an explanation. Uh, I ended up walking upstream for about... <laughs> what are you looking at, man? Huh? <laughs> okay. So I ended up walking upstream for about a quarter mile. Uh, I didn't have my battery on. I wanted to conserve my battery. The water was pretty shallow. It was too shallow to fish, and it was way too fast moving. So the video is going to pick up where I left off. And yeah, so let's, let's get back to it. Back where I was. I walked a really long time trying to find some better or some more, more open water and I just could not. Oh shoot, I just saw a big spotted bass just now. Oh dude, dude, that's a good sized bass right there. Oh my gosh, they're right there. I gotta take it really easy right now. Oh, he's right there. Big spotted bass. I need to make a change, I need to make a change. I need something different, they're not taking it. All right, I'm gonna put this up for a minute. I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna try a regular jig, like a jig jig. It's got a little crawdad trailer. I'm gonna see if they're willing to eat this. I can see that bass, man. There she goes, she's going for it. She's going for it. Got her, I got her, I got her. Oh my God, oh my God, I got her, I got her. That's a good bass, that's a good bass. Oh my God, it's a good spot. Oh my God, yes. Dude, I gotta take measurements. That is a nice spot. I have to take some measurements on this girl. Sight fished her. Oh yes. Look at that big fat spot. For this little creek right here, psh, forget about it. Nice fish. Okay, time to get some measurements. Okay, so I feel like I owe you a bit of an explanation. Maybe an apology for my annoyingness. Um, obviously that wasn't a spot. At, at the time it wasn't so obvious. I thought it was a spotted bass. I was super stoked because I've got a buddy that has the Indiana Fish of the Year for 2017. Or record fish for 2017. One of those two. I can't remember. Anyway, for spotted bass. Uh, 16 and a half inches I think it was. So I was super stoked because I thought this was a big spotted bass that I could have submitted for fish of the year for this, you know, at least try to anyway. And another reason I get so excited is because although they're not the biggest black bass species or the biggest fish you're ever going to see or catch, they're pretty pretty good size considering the size of the, of the creeks that I'm fishing. Um, especially out by where I work, that creek, I mean, it probably doesn't get more than, I don't know, 200 feet wide, if that's, if that's even the case. I mean, that may be a stretch. I'd have to research that more, but um, they don't get very wide and they don't get very deep either. I'd say probably at normal levels, probably about 10 feet deep is about the maximum, I would say. So that's just, that's another thing that makes me excited is catching, you know, these big fish, which I mean, a 21, 20, 20 inch smallmouth is a big fish. Don't get me wrong, but especially out of these skinny creeks, man, it's crazy. But anyway, I don't know. It's just, it gets me super stoked and I just love fishing and apologize. Let's get back to the video. Mm. Tried to get a measurement on her and I just lost her. I just dropped her in the water. I have been walking for quite some time. Um, just trying to find some good looking water to fish and I just really can't, I'm not seeing any. This whole riprap, riprap shore right here looks great, but it's just not very deep in that on that side. That's not too bad. This actually might have some potential to be honest with you. I need to put something different on. I'm thinking maybe a tube. I'm thinking I'm put a tube on. I've been slinging this uh, Ned rig for too long. Okay, this is it. My finally final hoorah before I go home. I tied on a, uh, it's called a Jika rig, J-I-K-A. And it just consists of a normal little, you know, I think this one here is a two-aught wide gap hook. Um, I wouldn't go any more than a three-aught on these, uh, oh, what are these tubes? They're Berkeley. Uh, coffee tubes. I think they're like three and a half inch, but this little two aught hook really seems to do the trick. And all it is is ooh, this looks like a really good area, and it's got a uh, a wide gap, and then you just rig it with a with a uh, snap ring, 
and then you rig it to a little uh, little sinker, okay? That's a drop shot sinker. And it's, uh, it's weedless, or it's a lot less weedless, or a lot more weedless, I should say. And that's it, man. <clears throat> you just work it like a normal tube. And that, that's, that weight just kind of drags the bottom, and that <clears throat> the tube is on that snap swivel, or that snap ring, and it kind of free swings on that hook really nice. Nice little rig to add to your uh, finesse fishing repertoire. You just kind of drag it along. I thought for sure there'd be something in here. This is deep right here. Get up on top of this rock. All in all, it was a pretty good day. I caught smallies, what I thought was a nice spotted bass. I was just super hyped about the circumstances in which I caught him. Basically, I had tossed a Ned rig in front of her face and waved it in front of her face several times, enough for her to, to just completely shut down. But I ended up just, uh, I tied a, a jig on, finesse jig. First cast, I was sight fishing for her, jigged it, I saw her turn on it, and she finally just choked it and uh, caught her. So I thought I was, pre I was pretty stoked about that. I thought it was pretty cool, and to be able to catch that on camera was pretty neat too, so. Anyway, that's that whole spiel. It's been a pretty good day. Like I was saying, I've caught smallmouth, I caught that largey, <clears throat> several rock bass. I think that's it for the species. It's a pretty good multi-species day. I was thinking about maybe just going a little bit farther down before cutting out and going home, but I don't think that's a good idea because it looks, it looks pretty shallow. So I'm gonna call it quits here. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. And if you like them, hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe. Appreciate you stopping by. See you in the next one. Something huge just blew up over here on the uh, surface. So that's where I'm going. Something just smashed top water. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a big old carp or something, but uh, I'm heading this way. I'm going to cast over there where I just saw that explosion. It must be somewhat deep. I, I don't know. I'd certainly like to know what the hell that was just now. In this shallow water. This is shallow too. Dude, what was that? Problem is I can't see anything. I can't tell how deep it is over there. Oh, it's shallow. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got it. I got it. My jag was not set. Oh my god, don't come off. It's a smallie. Oh my god. We're gonna we're gonna end the day on this note right here, baby. We're gonna end it on this note. Oh man. Please don't come off. She's barely hooked. She's barely hooked. No, she's not. She's pegged. I'm falling. I'm falling down. She's pegged. Wow. Ooh, dude. Something wrong with her. She's got some battle wounds. I guess. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to end it on that note. That's a good fish. Jika rig for the win. Got it. It's a nice looking fish. I'm going to get a picture of that fish. Wow. I guess it wasn't recording, but, uh, Anyway, that fish was released. It was fine. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one.